Hello guys and welcome to another video from the BMG Model tutorial series and in this episode we are going to tap into some drive train mechanics so we can actually drive our vehicle awesome we are going to cover the basic principles of operation of the drive train and the components will be each explained in their own video which are hopefully coming out soon as well. The drivetrain system is kind of similar to the slots system, so you should watch that watch video first, um, which, you, which you should have done anyways, because these videos are meant to be watched in order, obviously, since you know, in the playlist, they're in order, also there are numbers. But yeah. The first object to consider in our drivetrain will be the controller, which is sort of comparable to the main slot. From the slot system but it also actually controls all the functions of the vehicle and you can make your own controller in Lua 2 but that's a topic for another video so basically the controller is what takes all the inputs from well from the inputs and puts it into the actual game and controls things so every object in our drivetrain can have a name, a type, inputs and outputs, and obviously different parameters. The inputs are what the object will attach to, and the outputs are what objects attach to that device. The type is what kind of part the object is, so for example, there's engine, gearbox, torque converter, differentials, axles, and also a controller and usually the train of torque goes from the controller to the engine to a clutch or torque converter into the transmission along the dry shaft and into a differential and then to the axles obviously these things depend on the engine and drive configuration as well as the transmission type so automatic or manual or CVT actually CVT acts as um, as its own clutch and yeah for my project I'm going to go for a classic front engine we will drive configuration and I will use an inline 6 as the engine with a 6 speed manual uh, I'm going to orient myself on the BMW 330i E46 uh, which has uh, similar components to what I just described so let's start at the top of the tree and get into the code so this is going to be a new section in our main file main, main JBeam file it's going to be called controller and there's not much in here just file name so the name of the controller file and uh, there are different controllers these are first the vehicle controller which is used to control most official vehicles for a classic powertrain layout the 4VD controller is used to control over transfer cases and differential locks like with D-series or hopper or other off-road cars uh, beam navigator controls the navigation screen and post crash brake is like it sounds responsible for applying the brakes after a crash like on the ETK 800 and K2 I think um, and there's also a trans brake controller which is a trans brake which um, well yeah it's a trans brake huh? And the dummy controller is the standard that just gets added when there is no other controller, so it doesn't really do much. Um, but obviously for this we are going to use the standard vehicle controller. And just that. You could put some parameters in there, but they are used for like different controllers usually. And you can add controllers in any J-beam. Um, but since makes sense to have 
the standard one in here so like for example if you have off-road parts then in those parts the 4WD controller will get added or something like that or safety electronics that have the um, post crash brake so let's start with the first item in the tree after the controller which is the engine and as I said it's going to be the S uh, I didn't say it it's from the 330i E6046 which I, is the S for S54 and I'm going to use the S54 B32 US variant which is a 3.2 liter 6 cylinder inline engine so what we're going to do is make a new file and just do save this hello save it oh no i saved it as a text file god damn it any jbeam and yeah we just start with the information and other stuff so let's make I'm going to call it tutorial let's go engine in line six three point two liters or just three point two yeah, just do three point two liters. Liters. Um I'm just going to quickly do all of it. Slot type is going to be and let's add that to our body. Oh no. And now we're actually oh, actually going to start with the powertrain. Um, which goes into this section here by first obviously defining the parameters. There is as I just previously said there's type. name input name and in put index for the engine type is combustion and en engine name is just main engine something important to consider is that you would have to have different trees so for every engine just one tree and just one engine in one tree so have if you want to have multiple engines have multiple trees because that's just works better with the game And the input is usually the device that sits in front. So for the clutch, it would be the engine because 
the torque goes from the engine to the clutch but in this case there is nothing in front uh, because it's at the top of the chain so this will just be dummy and input index is zero because that just describes which of the inputs which of the outputs from the previous from the input device are going going to go into this device so for example with this example we have the input name is dummy but since there is actually no um, no outputs from dummy it's just zero so most most devices only have one output so just going to be one but differentials or something are two outputs so you, for left and right we choose the different ones so that the differential can actually work so this is now set up let me just go in here also I, this is kind of irregular but seems like it doesn't matter if I put a column here or not so yeah I'm just gonna remove it now now oh, that looks kinda neat let's just copy the files and we'll see I've copied the files put it in here and it do not work for some reason well let's just see well there you go you have the engine and if you go into the console I think oh a lot of errors you will see that somewhere it should say oh wow well that's just because I don't have really anything in the engine it should say added added controller and it only does that with the dummy controller so yeah but at this point I will have to disappoint you because you'd have to subscribe to not miss the next episode where I will explain in depth how the engine actually works so we can get this thing at least to rev up and make some nice noise uh, yeah so as always thank you very much for watching till the end and I hope you didn't skip anything because it would be very much illegal thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again in the next video.